hello everyone so this is the problem we are going to solve today now if this smaller window is the uh, client and the bigger window is a server so here from the client if i go and collect the sword you now you see this create color sword collector notification appears not in the client window but in the uh, server side so let me show again by collecting another one see still it appears for the server uh, so here if i collect from the server then it appears as it should on the server but for the client it is not working properly and that's the problem i am going to address today how to properly show notifications on both client and server instances of the game and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the patron page and this is a part of this section rpg with gameplay ability system series so you can watch all other episodes as well i'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description below all right now let's get back to today's part so here now let me open this collectible sword act and here this is the part i show the notification here show notification we simply pass a reference to the other actor that means the actor who's going to overlap with this collectible uh, item so it would be a player or any other character and here if it is a player we show the notification but in our initial impl implementation we did not think about replication or multiplayer situation so this uh, method is not going to work so let me change this name Corrected. Corrected. okay should i say collecting okay uh, okay now so we need to show this notification in a replicated manner but i don't think i can handle that in the hard i think we will have to do that through this character itself therefore let's see the characters are in that person blueprints so here uh i'll open the player character and here i'll add the relevant event because only for players we need to show notifications so here in the base character we have this character interface maybe yeah here let's add a function show character fight notification because we show them in the right side and as an input i'll add s notification this is a data structure we have already defined notification data so simply this contains a text and an icon relevant for the notification that we need to show now uh, here instead of all these things i'll simply call uh, show character right notification on the actor who just collected the item and here under notification data i'll pass the text as this 
and the icon from this we already figured out where to put icons and how to get them so i am not going to explain that part okay now let's go back to the character and let's implement show character right notification i'll collapse this to keep things tidy show let's just say notifications right now here uh, first if we are locally controlled that means we can show the notification right away we don't need to think about any replication or anything so if yes what we have to do is we can get player controller and get hot show right notification and simply pass this data and if we are not locally controlled then we have to think about replication so oh, this uh, we will have to set up a remote procedure call so here if we has authority if we has authority then we can use a multicast or uh, event to call a function on this characters uh, where the character is locally controlled that means if i call this event in the server but this character is controlled by a player who is a client so we need to trigger an event in the client so for that we can use a multicast and if we are remote we can use run on server event so let's set up that i just duplicated this event i'll call it show notification server this should run on server and uh, same thing show notification multicast this should be a multicast now here uh, now here we can if we are remote we can call show notification server so, oh here we have mr oh so, server like this and if we have the authority show notification multicast right now uh, here well we can simply do this same thing but if we run the multicast then uh, so this uh, the a multicast event runs on both server so here server execute this event locally too and also runs on client instances but in a multicast situation we don't need to run it unless this uh, 
character is locally controlled so is locally controlled again so this would become false for uh, in, uh, for the copy of the character who is controlled by a client but in the server so this would become false so therefore only if this is true we need to call this hope it makes sense all right now did i call this here i did let's test yeah see notification appeared this is the client now you should see notification appeared for the client okay and now this is server and notification appears for the server as well in the correct way it has to great so yeah that's all i want to cover in this episode so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye